Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 6 verses 20 to 26. Here's the Word of God. My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. Bind them on your heart always, tie them around your neck. When you walk, they will lead you. When you lie down, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp and the teaching a light. And the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. To preserve you from the evil woman, from the smooth tongue of the adulteress, do not de desire her beauty in your heart, and do not let her capture you with her eyelashes. For the price of a prostitute is only a loaf of bread, but a married woman hunts down a precious life. Proverbs 6, 20 to 26. Here's my poem. Remember your father and mother's teaching. The Lord wants you to never forget his commandments and teachings. Honor your father and mother's guidance and their discipline. Parents are to pass on the commandments of the Lord so that the children will learn to navigate the world. When you heed your parents' teachings and correction, you will be protected from sin and overcome temptations. Here's my commentary. Solomon reiterates Leviticus 19 verse 3 where it says that every one of you shall revere his mother and his father and you shall keep the Sabbath. In Deuteronomy 27 verse 16 we also hear of the result of going against your parents. It says, cursed be anyone who dishonors his father or his mother. Also in Proverbs 1 verse 8 the exhortation was to hear the instructions of your father and not to forsake the law of your mother. It was the responsibility of the parents to ensure that their children were taught the covenant law. Being a parent is a big responsibility and they are all responsible to teach God's laws to them. Reflection Cite an instance when children did not heed their parents' instructions. Well, uh, I know more than one story when uh, a child goes his own way and not listen to their parents. Um, a lot, uh, one person I know, because um, she didn't listen to her parents, went uh, wayward by, by living with uh, a married man and living with a married man is adultery and so all the skills that she had all the all the good uh, things that were happening in her life were all gone because of the, the effect the aftermath of that uh, adultery so she was um, she she was humiliated by the wife of the man that she was uh, having an affair with, and then she lost her job because of that. Uh, when the company learned about what she did, and then it also led to poverty and it led to more other problems. So there is always a result of. Um, adultery because God has put in our hearts not to take someone else's uh, belonging, someone else's uh, spouse. So it's important for us to recognize the importance of that. But if we do not heed our parents, how are we going to navigate this world? Because God uses their parents, your parents, our parents to be instruments of uh, execution of his law to be able to follow the laws of the Lord. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com uh, for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel and YouTube so I could make more videos and give you the Word of God. And if you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this daily. Just type on Google search or YouTube search Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.